In this video trailer, we're gonna look at which markets you can trade with Core Spreads Australia and some of the spreads and margin requirements. Stick around. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. All right, so this video is sponsored by Core Spreads Australia, spread trading company. So if you're interested in spread trading, there's a link to those guys in the description below. In this video, I'm gonna quickly run through and show you some of the main things that you can trade with some of the spreads that are valid of right of now and some of the margin requirements are little bits and pieces like that. So stick around if you're interested in spread trading, this could be useful. And by the way, go to the uh, website Site and check out the most recent spreads. I know they're narrowing them from time to time and changing them and adjusting them. So you need to go and check to see what they are at the time you're watching this video. And also important thing guys, a little tip, when you're opening a new broker account or deciding to open a broker account at all, whether it's an additional brokerage account as a backup or because they offer good spreads on something that your other broker doesn't do and vice versa, it's worth doing a bit of due diligence. Go and see if they're regulated, go and see if they're ASIC regulated, go and see what spreads they do, what what kind of a platform they offer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and see if they're right for you. So if you think there might be, uh, I say link in the description below. Anyway, let's see what they offer. Let's see some of the spread. So major things here, we've got Forex, obviously, indices, obviously, some commodities, some equities, and crypto, believe it or not. So you crypto guys out there who like trading crypto, uh, you can spread trade on crypto too. All right, so let's have a look at Forex. So I've not included everything, obviously, if there's a specific pair that you like to trade, like I say, go and download the market information sheet and see what the up-to-date spread is on that. So broadly speaking, so you get an idea, uh, Euro USD, super popular, of course, 0.6 points, nice and tight on that. USD JPY, 0.7, uh, GBP USD is 0.8. Pretty good again. AUD uh, USD 0.6, uh, Euro AUD two points, and just a thrown one out there, a bit of an odd one. Uh, GBP NZD is four points. These are all 0.5% margin, so good margins, uh, and the minimum is 0.5. So you can trade a small amount, which is great if you're just starting out trading, or it's great if you've got multiple positions, or it's great if you're holding positions a longer period of time, and you just don't want to have that much at risk. You can trade a small amount, just get used to it, and get into the whole groove of things. So, and they've got, guys, they've got, they've got heaps of them. I've only just included a few here just to show you, give you an idea, uh, so you can kind of get a benchmark. Uh, indices, so these are for the cash indices, it's not for futures, the cash is slightly different. Now, with indices, it's worth pointing out that for most of them, during the market hours, i.e. when that underlying market is open, so regular trading hours, i.e. when the bell goes off, or when it closes in, i.e. the shares are actually trading, that's when the spreads are the most tight. So if you're day trading, for example, or if you're opening a trade or closing a trade, those are time periods where you get the most value for money in terms of spread. Out of hours, they are still available. Many of the indices are still available to trade. However, they are going to be a wider spread. So I think that's the way that it kind of works, guys. You, know, you find a broker that has an average spread that kind of keeps the same throughout all the time. And you kind of, if you're a day trader, you pay a penalty for that. Or you have someone like Core Spreads Australia who go, right, you know what, well, we can afford to have it nice and tight during the day, but you know, to counteract that, we're gonna to have to widen it out uh, in the middle of the night. So up to you how you use that. It means you can still trade in the night. If you want this position, you're in a position nicely in the day, and it suddenly spikes up at two o'clock in the morning for you, like, I wanna get out, you can do. You're just gonna pay a little bit more spread, but it gives you that facility. So anyway, Australia 200, uh, one point spread. UK 100, uh, 0 0.8 spread, uh, 0 0.8 point spread, uh, nice and tight. DAX, one point spread. Uh, that's that's great, you know, considering how volatile the DAX is. Well, I say the DAX is the German 30, which is based on, it's their own price, but it's based on the DAX that you may be familiar with if you see it in the news and what have you. A US Tech 100, uh, one point spread. Japan 225, four point spreads, that's a big boy. Um, you know, German 30 is a, a very good. What I was saying is, in the volatility of that instrument and the spread, it spreads almost meaningless, guys, when you're uh, looking at the volatility of something like that. And that's a, that's a key as well, Especially if you're kind of day trading or looking for something uh, a bit more active, then you kind of need to look at the spread to range ratio. You want to have the spread low, 
and then you want to have the range wide. There's no point having a low spread if the range isn't very wide because the ratio is going to be poor. When you've got a wide spread, that's okay, but if the range is even wider, then again, that's okay. So you kind of have to look at both of the things at the same time, uh, but that's definitely good on the German 30. And like I say, these are the tightest during market hours, so it's a from figure, but most of those are during the actual underlying market open, and they change uh, when the market closes and you go after hours trading. Uh, they're all 0.5% margin, and the minimum for those as well is only 0.5, 50 cents. So again, you can trade small, get yourself into it. Right, commodities, let's have a look at the commodities. Uh, gold, silver, three points apiece. Crude, three points. Uh, Brent, crude is three points. Um, that's pretty competitive for crude. Uh, copper, 10 points, it's a big price one, that, and there's a 6% margin on that. Your margin requirements on gold and silver are half a percent, and crude oil, one percent, understandably a little bit more, because we know crude oil can swing. Uh, and again, the minimum, uh, which is handy for some of these swingers, is um, half a dollar. Right, crypto, they offer three cryptos at the moment, might do more if you like crypto and crypto, go and check them out, they might add some more by the time you watch this. Bitcoin, 60 points, big swinger though, so again, look at that spread to range ratio, ether three points, ripple half a point. 40% margin on those, you understand why, guys, you're gonna have to put some money up if you wanna trade your cryptos, but the minimum is less at 0.1. One dollars ten cents. Equities very quickly. Um, there's a wide range of equities. There's some differences because they have some kind of mini fangs and stuff. And again, if you're interested in trading equities, then definitely go and check out the site and have a little look uh, and see if they suit you. So UK 0.1 percent per side. So how it would work basically when you're having the spreads with equities is that hey, that's the market spread, the underlying. Let's say London Stock Exchange. If it was the UK, uh, you're trading an instrument. Let's say Tesco's. There's the spread. They will add or core spreads Australia will add 0.1% onto the ask and 0.1% under the bid. So that would be the buy price and the sell price. So that's how they're making their money, obviously. So you've got the market spread, underlying market spread, and their additional spread. So 0.1% per side for UK 100. And I think it goes to 02 for the UK 250. But again, check it out if you're interested in trading something wider from the FTSE 250 range. US two cents a side and any EU stocks 0.2% uh, per side. Uh, margin, uh, no point going because they're all vary, guys. Depends on the market cap and depends on the volatility and liquidity and all that kind of stuff. From 5% margin, minimum uh, of one cent on the US and 0.5 on the UK and EU. Anyways, that's a quick overview of Core Spreads Australia. What can you trade? You can trade a lot, but just some idea of what the spreads are, some of the margin requirements and minimum trade size. Take care, keep the risk managed, whatever you're trading. See you in the next one, bye-bye.